Hello fellow crafters and paper artisans, it's Chandra with Stockton Stuff. I am here with a project share. I, um, I had to break out my Prima Diamond paper and I am so excited I did. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you have not bought this paper, you may want to see if you can find it. It is two-sided and um, every piece of it is just absolutely beautiful. And I actually didn't cut into my 12 by 12 because I bought the full collection. I have the stickers, the, the um, 6 by 6 the flowers. I, have, I, I just have every piece of it because I did not want to miss anything. Um, I have the journaling cards. I have the chipboard. I bought the entire collection. And I have never done that. I've bought pieces of collections but I bought the entire thing and I am, when I broke into it uh, this weekend, I am so glad that I did. So also I want to share with you that I have, I hauled this Gilded Gray, um, I believe from Tuesday morning. Yes, from Tuesday morning. Um, actually, I bought it at the one in Memphis, uh, Tennessee, and it is a great compliment to this diamond collection so if you want some background pieces this is a great collection it actually it says gray but there's a lot of gold in it and there's a lot of gold in the diamond collection as well so i ended up using um this tribal print and uh there was another one in here that i used anyway so there's a lot of gray but there's also a lot of gold um look at that tribal print it just is so perfect and then um, even those flowers are just beautiful. So um, there's another kind of tribal print in here. So it's really a great compliment. I was trying to find the other sheet I used, but I think I... Um, and look at these. This beautiful. Oh, and I use this sheet here. Okay. So I am um, part of BB's Crafts um, Crafty Friends. And I... Um, you may have seen her do a video on her loaded uh, pocket easel. And so I use my my kit, um, my Prima paper for, for this. It is a birthday gift for my boss. And I wanted to um, make sure that I did something nice for her. Last year you may have you may remember that I did the um slot machine coffee box for her and so I wanted to do something really pretty again. So let me just run through what I have inside and then I'll talk about my easel. So I this is the paper that everybody loves, the image that everyone loves. So I um backed it with gold, added some bling, cut it down. This was out of my six by six, not my big one. And um it is just a chunky notepad or it's the sticky notepad. And then I backed it with my gilded gray and um, it's also backed on gold. And so I just thought it was a nice compliment. I used, I could have done the tribal paper as well because I feel like that's a good match, but I wanted to pull out that gold there. And then um, I did use the tribal paper for envelopes for three by three cards and to back uh, some. So I broke out my bronze um, foil paper from Michaels. I use stickers from the sticker sheet. These little tiny um, kind of gems in these um, golden tones are honeybee uh, uh, bling from the honeybee stamp site. I used, like I said, I used stickers on all three, but I want to show you this is a stamp. I bought the stamp collection too. When I tell you about the whole thing, I bought the entire collection. And I heat embossed it and I love it. I just think it's pretty. I had a bronze in my stash, which is why I ended up pulling out my copper bronzy. Um, and then I just went through the stickers to find ones that kind of match the color theme. And, you know, so beautiful life, thankful, focus on the good.
and I'm going to pack wrap and package those I did a little um, just a little wooden clip and I added one of the flowers so there's a set of flowers that's solid and then there's a set that are printed and I'm gonna talk about those other flowers in a minute I made a um, big uh, I used a cut apart from that six by six uh, page and I used uh, I just made the big gold paper clip make your mark and I added some of the honeybees bling there and here is my pocket uh, my easel and so I want you to see this look at you know this is this uh, it's a cut apart so I basically used a f almost a full page of the cut apart page and she's got that warrior princess purpose driven uh, savage but sweet kind of vibe but look at the flower here it is this print and what even has the words on there I just love that and then there's printed flowers and then I did queen which is a cut apart from that page there's a solid flower but then look at that flower there's our girl so it just all came together like it really well it is a collection but you know uh, really curated for her and then I um, I did not have this color in my stash. I think I have all the other ones. So I had picked that up last week. And I just thought it was a great compliment. And then this is um, bling that I have a couple of packs of this from Hobby Lobby. I had gotten, I don't know, I hauled it in a clearance. Which one? I don't remember. But I have really used it. It's been bow centers. It's been... Um, and I just put it here because I didn't want to paint the easel. So... <laughs> That was me not wanting to do too much the other day. But I am really loving how this came out. I hope that she enjoys it as well. Um, and uh, so I just wanted to share. I hope I made BB uh, Brittany proud with my um, easel today. And thank you so much for watching. Oh, I wanted to add that I also have the Gilded Gold. And um, this is a piece from there. And this is one of those wine boxes that um, I you've seen me make them at Christmas time. And so I'm going to add a little mini bottle in there just to give uh, like a nice little gift. And um, so I just want to say thanks for watching. And um Again, I hope I made Brittany, BB, Crafty, Peeps crap proud today. Thank you and have a great day.